Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where I just had to go through really quick and because I had kind of saved right before I had talked to uh, my friend whose name I cannot remember all of a sudden and interact with his paper. So now we have to speak to Felix to start the next match. But Felix, welcome back! I've had some gladiators are chosen for extra work. You heard wrong. And if there was an arrangement, you would have much more to do to earn your way in. Your job, si. you upstart Pierre. dog novel, is to fight. That is it. You earn your gold in the pit, or you do not earn it. Then that is what I will do. We are ready. Finally. They are asking about you too at the arena in Syria. Put on a good show and we all profit. I put on a good show if I, uh have my really cool weapons, but I don't. I was like, I entered the grounds. How often do you fight lions? <laughs> Only when Felix can get them. Oh, hi. They are much more expensive than men volunteering for a beating. Save little honor in killing animals. Kill or be eaten by it. Besides, it's cage. We will be fine. As long as we don't Whoa, free. that did not go where I wanted it to. There we go. Oh, I pissed. I pissed it. Sorry, I think I got in the way. The Benja and the Slave Girl are unstoppable. Slave Girl? She's not a slave girl. And wild beasts. Oh, big guy. I'm attempting to sit in a different way so that my legs don't hurt all the time. The Egyptians are in on it too. The guardians of Siwa are victorious once again. I didn't think they could they would be let in. Food the order. garlic brothers. Be next. Why are there like so many Egyptians in the crowd when they're like not usually le usually letting Egyptians in? I mean, is there something else I can be doing? No. Okay. Off we go. Oops. Where's Kimsa? Her talents were required elsewhere. What? You are going to have to win this one alone. Uh oh. You will be fine. Kimsa. Another errand for the unknown yeah, patron. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fighters who ask too many questions do not survive. It is a dangerous job. Accidents happen. Crap, Kimsa. I am only keen to prove myself. Then win this match. You will get your chance against the brothers. Wait, Beat what? Them. And you will Kenta be wanted to beat them, though. That was like Kenta's Kenta's big okay. thing. Holy Anubis. I have to win this. Yeah, I have to win this so I can go stop Kenza from doing something real stupid. Are those pits on the ground? Oops. I'm trying to... Yeah, there's traps on the ground. I could 
knock people back onto the traps, I guess. Uh, those things are spinning now. Cool, it's fine. The Magi is not missing his partner! What a warrior! Oh my god. Ah, this is so much harder when there's other things around. Ow! Oh crap, oh that crap, oh traps. Sorry I left you to fight alone, but I hear you did me proud. Felix said you had on a job. Who was it for? I'll tell you everything in good time, brother. Just know that our future has never looked brighter. <laughs> I don't know why he's lying to her. That is exact. I don't know why he's being so recalcitrant with her. Like, I don't think he knew right off the bat that she was this kind of person still. Like, I get, or sort of, I don't know. I don't know if she's always been like this, or if this was just kind of what happened after events, but it, I don't know. It feels weird that he kind of was like, oh yeah, I'm just here to make money in the gladiator arena. And she's like, oh, cool, that's good. And it's like, but that's not who he is. And she should know that. And I don't know. I'm confused. I'm a little confused why he felt the need to not tell her what his goal was. You have done well for a country corner. He has so many names for Your me. Your time has come. The crowd is bored with Viridovics and the Ovikos destroying opponents with ease. I am counting on you to make this entertain. Let's see. One more thing. Do not kill anyone. I want my top four fighters alive for rematches. I have given the Gauls the same order. All right, we will not kill them. But no promises about pain and humiliation. <laughs> uh, uh, also, wait, Our big I feel moments. like it's really hard to do they in a fight like this. Monuments and scroll our names across temples after this. I don't want to do that. We will be adored, rich, and champions. I mean, I understand why she's into this, but Bayek is not. All she wants is to be recognized Here for her strength, are the you know? To the crowd. Creepy old lady the in the background! Of Siwa. Undefeated! Unmatched! It's the Gaelic Brothers! Jeez! actually in 
insane, to be honest, but I could be wrong. First move is run away. He's got... Ooh, am I not... Okay, wow. I was pressing the wrong button all of a sudden. Run. Not that one! This one! This one! You idiot! <gasps> I didn't know you could do that! He deflected my my ultimate! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How am I still alive? I should not be alive after that. Again, let's see how it goes again. Okay. Hopefully the game doesn't, you know. Apparently I won't actually be able to kill them if the game restrains me it, itself. But don't expect me to not, you know. They're hitting the butt. Come on, come on. I was like, why isn't it doing it? Okay, they're still alive, crawling around. Crocodile! The Gallic brothers are defeated! Oh. You killed the child called Shadia! That is the least you deserve! The ah. We didn't kill her, I swear! <laughs> we have done many terrible things, Siwan! But the murder of the child is not one of them. All hail the new champions! We were okay. the champions of Siwa! Capture the girl and take her to Berenike! To, to the crocodile! It was she who drowned the child. Took a book from her. I or knew it was! I knew! I knew the crocodile would be a woman! I knew it would be a woman! This is the real reason you came to me, isn't it? To uncover this patron, this crocodile! Bayek, why didn't you confide in me? Huh? I would have helped you. You're a mercenary, just no. like them. I couldn't take the chance. What fate await the fallen? No. Will it be life? Bayek. Or death? You know me better than... Uh-oh. Death. Bayek, you have to know! Uh-oh. I mean, he's not wrong, but yeah, I, I feel like that was kind of, I mean, I don't know, I guess he is, I mean, he had, yeah, I mean, watching, seeing Shadia, you know, like, not knowing if that life had consumed Kensa, you know, she's been through a lot, and Kensa wants glory, and fame, and money, and but she wants that because it's stuff she's never had. She wants to be recognized as as a strong person, not a, not, a, not a not a weak person, not a slave, not something like that, you know. And she wants she wants the power that goes along with that, so it'll never happen again. 
I can't really see from what I know of her, her being willing to do that, you know? I knew it was gonna be a woman. I knew it was. I almost said it at the beginning because I was like, oh, there's only been one woman and it's the hyena. And then I was like, you know what? You know what? And I was thinking this. I was like, I I'm gonna go, I'm sorry. I. It might seem like 2020 hindsight, but like, and then I'm just like, oh yeah, but no. Like the fact that somebody killed a child, like you automatically assume it's a man. But just today as I was opening this up and I was looking, I think I saw the like, uh, the target screen or something. I don't know, but I was just like, you know what? It would be, it would be the cruelest twist of fate if the one who had killed the child or ordered the killing of a child was a woman. You know, like we had the hyena who was doing everything she could to resurrect her daughter. And then we get the crocodile, you know, who does anything she can to further her own game, even if it includes the brutal murder of a child. And like, it kind of just, I think, I don't know, it kind of shows you, because oftentimes women are seen as like super nurturing and blah, 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 and maybe, yeah, maybe that's how most of them are, but like, when a woman snaps or goes and like, chooses a completely different life than that, it's, it's terrifying, because it's like, for like, for like a lot of societies, it's a complete twist on what you expect, right, for the woman to be nurturing and loving children. It's not, and when she's not, when she kills her own children or when she kills other people's children, it's just this like, it's just this like huge, oh, there's like a German word for it. Unt, unter, mm, unheimlich? Unheimlich, I think, I think that might be it. Where it's like, it's like something that you see as normal and then there's like a big, it, it's like a nightmare where it's like your mom, you see your mom in the nightmare and you're like, it's my mom, and then all of a sudden she turns into a monster and it's like, there's this, this twist of the expectations of reality into something terrible, you know? And it's, it's intense. A uniquely sub subtle operative of the Order of Ancients uses manipulation, diplomacy, and legislative corruption to enact a totalitarian vision of peace and order across Fayum. The crocodile ruthlessly enforces the order's plan of control, all while remaining hidden behind a cloak of anonymity. And we have... Oh, and I was told that I should do these, even though they're very high level. When I do get to that point, that I should do them, that they're very good. So I will. Holy freaking cow! They want me to go to the siren? Oh my gosh, I have to do the- Oh, is it only a side quest? Okay, good. I was like, no! Okay. Speak to Hotefrez. Okay, okay. We're going to Hotefrez. And we're getting stuff. Because we defeated two very big enemies. And I get crabby stuff for it. Uh, get rid of this one, I guess. But, oh my gosh, I knew it. I, like, I had a feeling that it was... <laughs> okay, that's funny. I didn't mean to do that, but that's funny. I had a feeling that it was going to be a woman. Just to subvert... Just to subvert the expectation, you know? Ah, uh, what are you doing here, my dude? And if you had an inkling as to the crocodile's identity, why didn't you tell me? I've been here. What do you mean I just discovered it? Hello? Hello? Uh, let's crush, let's crush this witch. So it was Berenike. Crocodile's tears. She is the crocodile. Oh, she didn't know. She is the one or who he killed didn't know. Sharia. She is the one who has brought ruin to so many. She calls herself the sponsor of Fayum's prosperity and culture. And her influence is felt throughout the region. Her wealth comes from her estate north of the city. Kerkesucha Granary. The largest in all of Egypt. She has arranged a symposium with others of influence in Fayum. Every night, she retires to her villa, where she courts their favor with bribes and silvered words. Then that is where I will find her. Thank you for everything, my friend. What will you do now? I will retire to our family villa. I need a drink. Henut and I must mourn in peace. Farewell, Bayek. Once you have done what you must, we would be glad to see you again. Yeah, my dude. Yay, I don't care. I, there's literally no reason. 
Our new champion. Soon, your heroic image will be guarded. Are you the sculptor? Gates, but not too soon. I need time to get the strength in your brow just right. Don't rush an artist. Oh, cool. So my visage is gonna grace the front of a desecrated temple. Cool. That's what I wanted. I feel kind of bad. I guess I wish I could talk to. Uh, Kensa. Uh, is there actually? Let me be smart about this. Hmm. Oh, good. It's in a place I ran around and did not get a fast travel point for. <laughs> Yay! For real. Okay, I, we can at least travel here. Uh, I knew it. And I thought that woman, like she, like she had those flowers in her hair. She was dressed very young, you know. And she's like, I'm like 80 years old, but I'm gonna dress like I'm six. I just figured it was, you know. I was like, you know what? She's like, she's like showing off her wealth and. And she's also like, screw cultural norms where I have to be dressed weird because I'm old. I don't know if that was a thing in Greece. I don't think it was. <laughs> Not Greece. Well, yeah, Greece. Greece and Egypt, both. I definitely don't think it was a thing in Egypt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Her villa is like right across from where I had to find Shadia. Cool. It's fine. I don't even, I hate getting in the water now though, I gotta be honest with you. Oh my gosh. Are there oh. actually still like Help! enemies? Stay there! there. You, just shut up. Mm, God's here are vigilant. Uh the actual worst. Are that? Oh. They have kites too? That's not where I was before. I was. Oh, I'm gonna get run over. I'm taking your boat, actually. I'll sit, actually. I'll sit. And steer you. Come, come. Go. 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 Why are we not going where I want? Okay, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to. I'm sorry. My need is great. Yeah, it, it is. Get out. I thought I could maybe control it, but I couldn't. See, man, it's nice to have a break, isn't it? You just sit down, chill out for a couple seconds. There's the granary Hotafres spoke of. The crocodile must be inside. Don't worry, don't worry. Everything's fine. See? Everything's fine. And you crash your boat. She stays in the villa at night. Is the whole... Okay. That's the granary. I guess I probably shouldn't alarm her, huh? By like attacking the villa during the day. I mean, I don't know if it would be that specific. I could maybe take all the enemies out and then have her come in, but. Wait, what? Oops, I thought I would. Oh. I got a yellow glow on my screen for a minute. Well, time to wait till nighttime. I, I'm, it might actually undo all the stuff I just did, which is fine, I guess. No, it didn't. Okay. Okay, now we can locate her. Mm. Talk. 
target located. I have never hated an NPC as much as I have hated you. Get out of your way! Actually, that's a lie. Is that dog gonna attack me? Okay, let's see. Hey, hey, let's try to plan this out. She's actually on the far side. Okay, so I don't even. I'm gonna go around. I'm actually gonna go around if it'll let me. Let's see. Is it faster? Eh. Either way. So we're gonna go out of our way to go out of our way to make it easier in the end. And I'll have less things to kill. They can't get mad at me! You there! No, 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 no. Stop! I'm not doing anything. I'm not even... I'm not in the grounds or anything. You can't get angry at me. It's against the rules. I, I don't know if it'll be this easy, though. But... I'm gonna give it my best. Like, she doesn't have any armor. Her daughter was promised in marriage, but she could not afford the wedding. Now they are both begging for food in the slums. The damned slums! We cannot even trust the Philakitai to help us. They eat from the corrupt Nomark's hands. Food that belongs to our goddamned families. Hmm. They steal the grain from our own children's mouths. And what about Raho? His family lost their farm to Greek friends of the Nomad. Oh, interesting. Now they are forced to work like slaves on the land they once owned. Nick! Most of my grain is taken by taxes and soldiers. I barely have enough left to eat. Is this shit what they mean by prosperity? Prosperity for all? Bah! It is prosperity only for the rich damn Greeks and their traitorous Egyptian heads. They're doing that right outside the gates, too. That woman's gonna kill him. Oh, at least that's that. Oh, is she moving, actually? Oh, she might be moving. Cramp. It figures, but. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe not. No, yes, she is. Dang it. I may just be better served by going straight in after her, but I can't imagine that that's actually ah! a good idea. This area is off limits. Who's <gasps> afraid? Free hard leather. You there! Stop! I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm just running around. She. <laughs> She's moving towards me. Excellent. <coughs> yes, this counts. It counts as hiding. Okay. She's walking towards me. Ish. Okay, hang on. Actually, while we're doing. Like she kind of keeps guards out of the main villa. Interesting. They're mostly to keep an eye on the other people, I guess. But she's got guards with her. However, that shouldn't be too much. Actually, if I. Put people to sleep. I just need her to stop for a minute. I don't know. Seems like she's wandering. Kenza, don't do this. Don't do it. I'm gonna murder that oracle or that whatever the orator. 
Is this the luxury you sought? To be a slave to an enemy of Egypt? This is a problem. What? Where? Holy. It is to her we owe our allegiance and our lasting thanks. Culture for all. I think it's outside the gate. His voice is echoing, I don't like it. Filling our storehouse. The Fayum has never been safe. Don't mind me, people. Increased security is a result of our lady's selfless generosity. She has worked tirelessly to provide a safer community for all of us. The magnificent statues of Aphrodite you see around the villa grounds hide a wonderful secret. Crap. These images of the goddess of beauty were all modeled after our honorable lady of the villa. Wait, I guess scared him. My goal is to sleep. Cancer for all. Fayun is the happy recipient of the best in Greek culture. I was too far away though, I didn't realize. Interesting, they ran outside the gates. Not a smart move. Whoop, 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 whoop. Shadia. Who? Shadia! She was the child you drowned! Like all of your kind, you fail to see what greatness lies in store for Egypt. Is that what you tell yourself? You do not remember those you killed. She was the child of Henut and Hotefris. Henut was a stubborn rock. That ledger would have meant the end to all our hopes. You destroyed families. <laughs> I did what had to be done. I will destroy everything you stand for, Berenike! And I will destroy all others like you! But for now, all that matters is that you killed Shadia! And the last word you will remember is her name! Shadia! Oh, yes. Wow. Wow. Just because I, I wonder how can. Hotefres and Henut are. I should visit them. What? Uh, I should visit them and then whoosh. I'm glad I didn't have to kill Kensa though. I don't know if she knew exactly what was going on, so. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh no, Real world. You. Real world problems. There's Ooh, a man yucky. in the alleyway. Oh god. Avan? Aya, what are you trying? Forget about Aya. Abstergo's here. <coughs> they must have found out about. Oh shit. Fuck. D? What? Oh. What? Shit. They're here too. Okay, Layla, listen. I know you. And I know you'll find a way out of this. Being woken up abruptly isn't the best, I think, for uh, animus things. 
But, uh, wow, okay, so I unfortunately actually have to call it here because it's gonna go too long, and now I'm, like, jumping up and down in my seat. But, um, that was, ah, uh, I love when by it, like, I feel like sometimes in some, like, anim like kill animation or, like, like, death scenes or whatever for the targets, like, um, you can, they can help, they can kind of call into question, like, um, Bayek's method or uh, like reasons and stuff and like he can see how similar he is to them but I also really love it that a lot of times he seems he like has like the final word and there is like a spark of fear as they realize you know they're gonna die and everything they've worked for is gonna fail but in that situation you know no matter what happened and it was so spooky with the water and the arms no matter how many people he kills it's not gonna bring back Shadia but even if he kills the crocodile, but still, it's like, I love that at the end, he's like, you will remember her name. It'll be the last thing you remember. So, anyway, this is interesting stuff, and I killed, uh, well, not exactly eight targets, but, you know, because I think uh, I took care of some of them, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.